Hey cuties, it's Amy and I'm in the studio and I'm so excited to be sharing some information with you about my favorite set of watercolors, the Artist Loft from Michaels. I have been using this set for a really long time. I actually used it in my very first, no, second collection with American Crafts. It was called Sketchbook and it was the watercolor set that we used to do all of our artwork and then we scanned it into the computer and made it into the scrapbook collection sketchbook and behind me you can actually see some artwork that we use the same set for as well so I'm really excited to share with you some thoughts and reasons that I love the artist loft set and also because I've been doing the motivational Monday quotes for quite some time I wanted to share some insight on those too Starting with a new set, I begin by squeezing water from this Tim Holtz water brush into the pan. I mix it up a little and once I get the desired coverage, I just start. One of the reasons I was so drawn to this set to begin with was because of all the colors. Also, I should mention that this video is not sponsored and the motivation to create this video came mainly because every time I post a photo on Instagram with this set, people ask about it. You've also seen it in my brush scripting series, and I really just love it. I'm not professionally trained in watercolors. I simply enjoy the creative process, and this set makes me feel like I am an artist. It's a great beginner set at a great price, and they do last a long time. The cakes are more powdery or slightly chalkier than some of the other watercolors I've tried, but I found through just a little experimentation and practice, anyone can feel like an artist. The brush that comes with this set is fine for backgrounds, but I do recommend getting either a number two round brush for scripting or this Tim Holtz water brush. You can also just try out different brushes. They come in a variety of price points, so find one that you like best. Personally, this water brush has become my favorite because I can easily travel with it. I've even done some crafting with these supplies on an airplane tray table. The colors are really vibrant and on trend. I like the fact that you don't have to blend the colors because you're given so many great options. If you want to mix them, you can simply use the plastic cover to make up your own colors. If you've seen some of my other videos, you already know that I like to blend and mix colors directly in the pan, but I try to avoid making the yellows too muddy. It doesn't always work that way, but with a wet paper towel, you can usually clean up the pan nicely. I learned brush script from taking a class online with Cal Barteski, and also in person I took a calligraphy class. I'm working on developing an online class that dives deeper into brush script, which I hope is available soon as I've gotten tons of requests for it. The workshops I've taught in person have been awesome. I teach about the three Ps, because it's all about the three Ps. Practice, patience, and process. The motivational Monday quotes I started doing were a way for me to practice on a weekly basis. It was also a practice in patience as I realized I made a lot of mistakes and felt frustrated, but I had to remember it was all a part of the creative process. I had to reframe my thinking about mistakes to not only learn from them, but to also embrace them. In fact, I make a mistake right here where I'm not happy with the way I have finished off this quote and the placement of the words. So I'm going to turn to one of my favorite techniques, which involves a drinking straw. And I put a nice little pile of paint or a little splatter of paint down and then blow on it. It creates a really cool effect that anybody can do and it's really fun. It makes you feel like a kid again. You just pile up the colors and then get it a little bit liquidy and then blow. Yep, that's all you do. So I wanted to add a few more swatches throughout this page because it's actually going to be a printable. It's a free download for you guys and you can get it from the link below. Don't forget to check it out. And I really just hope you feel inspired to get those creative juices flowing. And you'll see another thing here where I put the paint down 
and I blow, and this turns out just fine. It's a little small, but I add a little bit more color over here, and this is where it gets tricky, because it bled right onto the red. I just clean it up with a little paper towel, and this splotch turned out a little funny too, because I don't know why that branch is so thick. Remember, it can be frustrating at times when you're learning a new skill or doing it for the hundredth time like I've done this technique, but the most successful artists and creatives didn't become experts overnight. They certainly didn't succeed without lots of practice. I encourage you to take whatever watercolors or supplies you're able to get and play with them. Have fun and make mistakes along the way. Some of them will even turn into happy accidents and you never know what you'll discover. If you try any of these techniques, please hashtag Amy Tangerine and also Fangerine, as I would love to see it on Instagram. So that was really fun. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I use the Artist Loft watercolors. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I love hearing from you guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I've got a free download in the links below too in the description box. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. This set is very well loved.